Uh, let's talk Milwaukee Brewers right now. Craig Council going to the Chicago Cubs. Pat Murphy, a bench coach for the Cubs, elevated to the manager's position. Brewers, pretty good club. Uh, again, I've mentioned a number of times, comes quietly efficient year after year, making the postseason for the fifth time in the last six years, despite a payroll right around number 20. Pat Murphy is their new manager, last eight years as their bench coach, and he joins us now on the set. Pat, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Give us some and uh, give fans an idea of what a bench coach does in the modern game. It's a rather sophisticated spot. What do you what is the job these days? Uh, well, it, it can take on many forms. It depends on who the manager is. I, I was lucky enough to be part of somebody that was pretty darn smart. So I mine wasn't that sophisticated, to be honest with you, Brian. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just be there for him. You know, what, I will you go? Uh, uh, what are you? In, are you in charge of the, the game planning or overseeing the game planning? Or? Some of there's, there's a little bit of everything. Yeah, it, it really does depend on who it is. But there's a lot about player relations. There's a lot about feeding the manager things he needs to know. Um, it gets technical, but at the same time. You know, it's still about people. Right. See, I'm not buying that it's not sophisticated. It is. It, yeah, he's just a humble individual. It's complicated these <laughs> days. Go. Ahead. I should let Dan talk here. Go ahead, Dan. Mr. Murphy, how are you, bud? Great to see you, Dan. Yeah, you too. Um, as you make this transition, what's the keys for Pat Murphy to settle into this role and be as good as you possibly can be? Yeah, you know, thinking about that, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, it's not about me. You know what I mean? And I've got a responsibility to the ball club. i got a responsibility to those players. You know, and I, what fills me up inside is, like, to me, it's about love, it's about discipline, it's about keeping the standards or maybe even raising the standards of how they go about it, you know what I mean? And uh, it's as simple as that, you know, but it's not about me, you know. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a part of this, but there's a lot of other really important people and uh, those, nobody more important than those players, how they feel about themselves, how well prepared they feel. Um, you know, they don't even know what their best is, so I want to help them if I can. I always say, Dan, it's like uh, a coach is like an offensive lineman. You know, we're opening holes. They run through it, you know, and uh, I'm going to try to open as many holes as I can. Pat, it's exciting for me to watch yourself, Mike Schilt, Ron Washington. So many great guys get this managerial position. You talked about on building upon the recent success. You've been there eight years. What has been the Milwaukee key to success that you're going to continue in place to build on? Yeah, I mean, there's been a collaboration. You know, the front office uh, – Find, they dig deep and they find people and uh, you know uh, I think the staff but but most importantly it's that total collaboration of everybody have have brought out the best you know and focus on the right things you know keeping it simple is it easier in Milwaukee and I ask that only because Dan and I have had many conversations about say in Tampa Bay where there's a little less scrutiny, you can be more of a mad scientist. Milwaukee's not quite at that, but again, I mentioned, you guys, you punch above your weight on a regular basis, intellectually in the game as well. Is it a little easier being in that market? It's a smaller market. I mean, I, I wouldn't know, you know, like what perspective do I have? You know what I mean? I know that, I know it for what it is, you know, and, and I love it there, I love the people, and um, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to go day by day. That, that's a perspective thing for you guys to, to measure. But I don't know if it's easier or not. Yeah, I, I would think so. I mean, what, you, you see it around the game where, you know, things, the scrutiny alone, you think you're not affected by, but, but many teams are. Look, I, I can tell you, Pat, as taking this media role in being largely in New York City and watching the pressures and, and, that, that do surround these larger market teams where every decision you make on a nightly basis is scrutinized, whether it works out or not, as well as just letting you guys be. You're going to make some right calls. You're going to make some wrong calls. That's a part of it. We've got the right man for the job. I, I think it could be a little bit easier. I, I tell you what I love more than anything, and I think Pat knows, Ron Washington, Schilt knows, we're starting to see the, the manager position valued as being a leadership position of men. And their baseball IQ, all of them through the roof. But what all of these guys do great in common, I think, is lead young men and get the best out of these individuals on and off the field is that not the truth yeah I mean that's that's what it's about you know what I mean we've got the data now we have the information that helps us make decisions but it's still about people and it's guys like you that competed the way you competed you want to find that and you want you want to help other people find that competitiveness within themselves the way you did so easily you know that's what made you great I don't know 
were you all that talented? I mean, at some level you were, <laughs> but right. without the competitiveness, you probably don't achieve the success, and you're not sitting here with us today. Mm. I know it's early, but Jackson Trujillo, what is the plan for him? Get that contract extension, he's played, got a nice whiff of double A last year. What, what, what do you think the plans might be? I, I think as soon as he's ready, he helps the Major League Club. Uh, no doubt about it. I told him today, I said, you know, Jackson, no offense. I know you got your press conference, but, you know, I remember him as number 94 in spring training. <laughs> and you're 94 to me till you earn that number 11. Mm. Hey, Pat, I'm following up on that. Um, how much actual development teaching gets done now at the major league level from your perspective? A lot more than ever before, I think. Yeah. When these guys were playing, there was an expectation, a standard that was already set in the clubhouse. Those veteran players didn't let those guys go on the field without it. Today, we bring them up so quick. I think it, I think our staff, and we were just talking about it in the last five or six days, you know, our staff is responsible for con the continued development of these young men as, as, as competitors, ball players, understanding what, what's the level, what's the standard that we expect, and you gotta be aware of that every day. And that's a competitive advantage now at the big league level, isn't it? The staffs that really know how to teach the game well. I think it is. I well, really look, I can tell you what, I, I saw a huge development in a come on of Freddie Peralta when I think about you possibly having to deal Corbin Burns, no Woodruff, right. I know Woodruff didn't give you a lot last year, 60 or so innings, but, but Losing those two guys, watching Freddie come on, and I'm sure you know in the organization you got another guy or two, you got your name, what? Right. Wade Miley, you got to like some of the stuff you see. Yeah. There's no doubt. I mean, but every year there's going to be, especially in Milwaukee, there's going to be a new group of players, right. a lot of new players. But you, you talk about a kid like Freddie and the way he's come on, he's got another step to take. Now you say Woody didn't, didn't pitch for us a lot, but what Woody oh. does, I mean, he's he could have pitched in your era. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. This is. This is a special human. To lose Woody, it, it, it might have affected us in the playoffs. It might have mentally affected us more than anybody knows because that guy is a horse. You yeah. know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we, we have to redo it all the time. And one last thing. I'm just interested as we're kicking things around and we see Chirillo there. He's 19 years old. How different is this generation? You're, you're with them all the time. You're a little yeah. older now like we are. <laughs> but how different is this generation or is it not? It is. I mean, it is. And um, there's a lot more in place to help them jump quicker. You know, there's a lot more awareness out there of what it takes. Mm -hmm. And the training techniques, the science of the game, the data has helped us grow to the point of, like, these kids can develop pretty quick. But it still comes down to people. And it comes down to being able to understand what it takes to be a successful big leaguer to be great at it and to know how to compete day in and day out and take care of yourself. I always say, prepare to play good, play good, treat yourself good. Which one do you think is the toughest? Treating yourself good. Hmm. These kids, they still need help because they'll beat themselves up. They'll put their expectations so high. Okay. That's the part that, you know. Interesting. You know, I think Farhan just said something incredibly uh, brilliant that the, the best teams who have an analytical advantage, is like you said, all these tools and analytics are there to help the best teams who have the, have the coaching staff to get it out of the players. And, and I, think, um, I think that was brilliantly said. I know it's something that you guys are, are, are got to try to do. All right. Pat, congratulations to you. Thank you, man. Good. It's Thank good you. to see you again. We'll, 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 we'll see you out there. Right then. Absolutely. So you hired him at any point? No, but I wanted to a hundred different times. I can tell you that. He just <laughs> did, he just would never come work for me. Negotiate with this guy. Pat, congratulations. Best of luck. Thanks again.